You create a racism of soft expectations, and there is no way, first off, this questionnaire could possibly create any consistency. It is guaranteed to create more racism. <laughs> Students at San Diego State University are now offered extra credit if they take a quiz to determine their level oh. of white privilege. So this story comes to us as Professor Day Elliott offered the option to her sociology class students uh, a white privilege checklist that includes 20 questions that aim to illustrate, <laughs> quote, racial privilege is one form of privilege. So what is white privilege? Uh, well, listen, we're going to take the quiz today right here, and uh, the quiz nice. lets us know from Peggy McIntosh, Associate Director of Wellesley College Center for Research on Women, so you know it's good, describes <laughs> white privilege as an invisible package of unearned assets which I can count on cashing in each day, but about which I was meant to remain oblivious. White privilege is an invisible weightless knapsack of special provisions, mass, blah, 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 okay. <laughs> so we decided that we were going to take the test here today. These are actual questions. This is being given out in college. So qu question of the day, uh, do you think that you're the beneficiary of white privilege? And uh, who benefits from more privilege? The upper middle class, black American or brown American uh -huh. or immigrant whose parents are wealthy, have college degrees and got to go to good schools, lived in a good area, or uh, the white fatherless child from a trailer park in Arkansas? <laughs> Different strokes. Different strokes. We should address the elephant in the room first. Hmm. Comic Sans. Yes, on the college that quiz. Is the elephant. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this, a clown the, college? <laughs> is this, what are you guys, the font <laughs> police does, over does here? Because you're a professor. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> We're going to learn about white privilege. <laughs> 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 Following our examples, according to this list of ways white individuals have privilege because they are white. So please read the list and place a check next to the privileges that apply to you or those that you have. All right. Well, that was a separate letter with credit. I can, you can you can play along at home. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Family Feud, but Just the one exactly with the one where you always lose. Yeah. <laughs> follow along at home. Just follow the bouncing ass. Okay. <laughs> Number one. I can arrange to be in the company of people of my race most of the time. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let's, <laughs> I don't know about you, I have literally never made those arrangements. Yeah, ever. It's never come up like, hey, 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 you know, we should really get the wives together tonight. Do you want to have, oh, wait, hold on. She's not colored, is she? <laughs> I know you haven't done this, Crowder, so because gonna, you uh, miss our white party every Tuesday night. Every, You're never yeah, there. That's because I'm always at the Illuminati meetings. All right. <laughs> Very nice. Number two, I can go shopping alone most of the time, pretty well assured that I will not be followed or harassed. <clears throat> Well, not if you're an attractive woman. Those no, are the ones who you get the most yeah. harassed in a... I, I, I guess the implication here is that they're following you around, I assume, probably if you're an ethnic minority. Mm -hmm. it, though, again, I mean, listen, I, it, it depends where you are and which neighborhood you are, because that would determine the profile of somebody who stole their last pair of kicks at Foot Locker. I don't blame the guy making <laughs> seven fifty an hour. It depends where you are. It depends what the demographics are. Context matters. Context matters. All right, number three. I can turn on the television or open the front page of the paper and see people of my <laughs> race widely represented. This is a good example of how, of how leftists are just constantly dealing in the past, bringing, reopening old wounds, slavery, uh, you go back to the Civil War, newspapers, <laughs> they couldn't possibly pick anything out today that would be relevant. <laughs> By the way, I can turn on the television or yeah. front paper to see, well, I, okay, depend, am I turning it on to BET? <laughs> This is true. Or am I turning it on to oxygen? I mean, this will determine what I see. I mean, this is something, it's, that's, it's, it's less relevant than ever because media is so, um, it's so fractioned. It is fractioned. Yeah, yeah. Pe people can pick whatever they want. People set their home pages. That's also why we live more of a political echo chamber than ever, which, by the way, they also wrote about. Well, yeah. Number four, when I'm told <laughs> about our national heritage or about civilization, I am shown that people of my color made it what it is. Wait. What? <laughs> no, no one's taught that people of your color. We're taught that good people made civilization what it is. Okay? This is they they have people taking this test. What does this say? This says to people who are not white, they think we have like secret textbooks that they don't yeah. have. Like yeah. so the founding of America which was entirely white. That's the <laughs> takeaway here. By the way, all the history books about Rosa Parks and Harriet Tubman along with the monuments, white people put them up. You're welcome. <laughs> this is the, the divide and conquer that people don't. First off, this this it creates this idea of a monolith, yeah, um, which marginalizes any minority more than they intend to, and it's also really stupid. Number five, I can be sure that my children will be given curricular materials that testify to the existence of their race. Okay. <laughs> in addition serious? to the question of the day, 
Okay, request, can anyone out there who has children, Send it, send it to me on Twitter or comment below, at S. Crowder or at Not Gay Jared. If any of you have had children come home with cur <laughs> curriculum materials that testify to the existence of their race, I will personally send you a lock of Not Gay Jared's hair. That's going to be incriminating. <laughs> Number six, I can go into a music shop and count on finding the music of my race represented into a supermarket and find the food I grew up with, <laughs> into a hairdresser's shop and find someone who can deal with my hair. Okay. Oh dear lord. This one is just, <laughs> can I go into a music shop and find my race represented? If you're trying to sit, sell this one as, as a marginalized, <laughs> listen, just look at the billboard top 100, okay? Black people are significantly, <laughs> black people, Latinos are far overrepresented in music as, and, and as the good thing is it's a meritocracy apparently, yeah. so listen, I don't care, but you act as though you can't go into a music shop as far as, um, can I go into a supermarket and find the food I grew up with? Well, if, if, you, if you're at a supermarket that doesn't have the food you grew up with, where did you grow up? Ah. That's the issue there. Did you Didn't move to a different neighborhood? That. By the way, liberals have entire foundations saying that bad neighborhoods. They were, I remember when I lived in New York, there was this drive for Spanish Harlem. Like, they don't have access to healthy yes, food. access to healthy food. And yeah. the obesity epidemic, the diabetes rates in the American black community is really bad. So m maybe it's a good thing that Trader Joe's came on into your town. <laughs> <laughs> Al Roker is going to be pissed. There's on Whole Foods in our neck of the woods. Yeah, that's why we can finally see yours now, Al. Yeah. Back to you. <laughs> it's like, oh, this is all one question, by the way. Sorry, I hope you're in here for the long haul today. Into a hairdresser's shop and find someone who can deal with my hair. It's funny that you bring that up because um, I was trying to think of an example of anywhere that you know you might you might <laughs> you might find places that could cater hair-wise to ethnic minorities. Uh, but then I found Barber Shop One, Two, and Three. <laughs> The beloved films, along with Beauty Shop and their <laughs> sequel. It is actually something that is so culturally uh, uh, ubiquitous in the black community that they have films about them. It's Number good seven. Stuff. It's good stuff. Whether I use checks, credit cards, or cash, I can count on my skin color not to work against the appearance of financial responsibility. Okay. <laughs> if you're using cash, credit cards, or checks, okay, if it's not counterfeit money, if the credit card works, and if the check clears, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> Like, what do they think? It's an they open think, they think for that just walk in with as a as a white person. And by the way, this is not just this is not just this is just white privilege. So it's basically white versus everybody. So everybody, including yeah, everybody. Exactly. This is, you know, uh, Asians, Indians, blacks. Name it. Obviously, Indians are Asians. I know someone's going to leave it coming. Asians, <laughs> Latinos, Mexicans, black. Uh -huh. uh, insert whatever here. Middle Eastern. Yeah. So this is white people versus everybody else. Do, what do you think? You think white people walk in? And like, well, my credit, your credit card doesn't work. Oh, really? That's fine. It's on me. <laughs> it's on me. And you think a black person <laughs> hey, swipes? Run their, on now, you hear? Run on. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> what do you think? Um, swipe their Amex well, Platinum, and the guys. I actually hit decline. Please, I want to go bankrupt because you're a Negro. <laughs> uh, number eight. I am not made acutely aware that my shape, bearing, or body odor will be taken as a reflection <laughs> on my race. I didn't even understand what this made, mm -hmm. like I don't think of body, but I guess I, I guess there are certain, people come from certain parts of the world, and this isn't a color thing. I, 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 I okay, that's one for you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> number nine, I can worry about racism without being seen as self-interested or self-seeking. Uh, the only people who could check this box are everyone who are not white people. The only people who actually cannot wor can worry about racism without being seen as self-interested or self seeking we're, we're the only ones who aren't allowed to. We're the only ones who can't, yeah. that, that's why we're like, hey, can we have a conversation about race? And they t just tell the professors, no! No. Okay, thank you. And they leave. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's move on to number 10. I can take Don't a job or enroll in a college with an affirmative action policy without having my coworkers or peers assume I got it because of my race. Hmm. Okay, here's, the, here's this is where we start to get into the meat of this here, okay? Leftists are the ones who've done a great disservice to any kind of minority, particularly black Americans. Okay, let's, mm -hmm. let's talk about this. We've talked about this with affirmative action. They put students into programs for which they're not qualified, and then they end up in the body 50%, bottom 50%. They can't keep up. They end up having more anxiety disorders. Affirmative action hurts people. It doesn't help people. And yeah, it does create people, it does create an environment where people just, they wonder if you've earned that spot. You know, so you, you, you know who's probably most lyric is Asians. Yeah, that's right. Oh, true. but I do better on my SAT. Yeah, sorry, Pang, but we have we have to give that spot to a black guy. You your 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 folks do too well. I can't. I thought it was meritocracy. No, used to be. Number <laughs> number eleven. I can be late to a meeting without having the lateness reflect on my race. Uh. The fact that this is in here. First off, I can be late to a meeting. 
No one can be late to a meeting. Mm -mm. Second, that you're asking this means that you plan on perhaps being late to a meeting. And the fact that you're saying, hey, if I'm late to this meeting, does it, refl does it reflect on my race? Means that you're assuming that it's kind of a negative stereotype that people of your race are late to meetings. So here's the solution. Don't perpet don't be late. <laughs> show, show, show up on time. This question might, might as well read thing. that I can be personally completely unaccountable and childish and it won't reflect negatively if there is a pattern of people from my ilk being irresponsible and childish. By the way, I'm not saying this. I didn't really know. I, actually, I will say, I do know doing Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, they've often said people run on Brazilian time. Yes, They're kind of known oh, for yeah. being late. South Americans, definitely in general, but that's it's, a lot of people. I've never heard they, of it. They call it that themselves. They no. call, they, I, I know black people, they call it CPT time. Yeah. Colored yeah. people time, black people time. Oh, really? Indian people. Yeah, they call it that themselves. They I've know never heard it. that. Could you imagine even asking these questions to a black person, even in an affirmative oh, no. manner? Yeah. Say, hey, I know you're late today. I just want you to know. Yes. I know it's not because you're black. <laughs> He's asking these questions. <laughs> What'd you say? Yeah. I know you're late, but just so you know, listen, everyone here, we're like, we'd prefer you be on time, but we're not attributing that to you being a Negro. <laughs> it's okay. Now, this test, by the way, isn't really circulated to check white privilege. This is something that's oh, designed to stoke not. the fires. So yeah. people who, this, the fact that this test exists tells me that professors like this who create these tests, they're telling their black students that we're somehow being taught that only white people created civilization. That we're somehow yeah. uh, being taught that all black people are late and that if we're late, that it's okay. This is what, this is, this is, these are, the, this is the racism of soft expectations. This is a really big problem, okay? We, yeah. we don't, let's not belittle this because these people are teaching your children who are going to be building your planes. <laughs> Think of that for a second. That um, me. Number, 12. number 12, I can choose public accommodation without fearing that people of my race cannot get in or will be mistreated. Well, it's funny that you bring this up because um, white people don't have segregated safe spaces nope. like you have at Brown and Cal State. And what is it? U University, University of Minnesota? Yep. Yep. Yeah. So as a matter of fact, you can probably name multiple places where only black people are. And that's, listen, I think that's fine if you want to have it. But let's not act as though you don't. The only place where this doesn't happen on, in public areas, again, are for white people. This, yeah. this question is based on a lie. Number 14. You can take this, again, take this test along with us uh, at 13. home. Oh, 13. 13. 13. I am never asked to speak for all of the people of my racial group. Hmm. Hmm. Well, <laughs> here's the thing, too. This is what the left does. They always, you act as though women, feminism, exists in a monolith. LGBTQAIP, mm -hmm. they exist in a monolith. That they're just, they all have the same opinion. Uh, opinion. Black people all, all have the same opinion. It's, all right, let's, let's bring out Farrakhan. Oh, okay, turns out he's a, he's a warmongering, violent anti semite All right, let's, 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 let's bring out, uh, uh, let's bring out <laughs> Sharpton. Uh, uh, Sharpton. Yeah. Oh, it turns out he's retarded. Okay, let's bring out uh, the next <laughs> black guy, right? You speak for all black people. Jesse Jackson you? didn't turn out yeah. too well. Yeah, Jesse Jackson. Well, no. I don't know, Van Jones? Oh, boy. Right? Right? No. <laughs> I just, I don't know. This is, you ask people to do it. And then you tell people who don't agree with your opinion that they aren't black, that they aren't Latino. That they're Uncle Tom's. That they're, they're Uncle yeah. Tom's, that they're not true, that they're women who are, they're so self-loathing women because they don't want to kill their unborn children. Uh, number 14, I can be pretty sure that if I ask to talk with the person in charge, I will be facing <laughs> a person of my race. Oh, okay. <laughs> I can go to this area. There's a p place in town where I can go and ask to speak to the person in charge and he will guaranteed not be a person of my race. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't even be able to ask the person in charge because I can't ask for him in Spanish. This depends on where you live. Very true. Is this in inner city Detroit? Is it in the, the deep, is it in Louisiana on the bayou? Is this in Jacksonville, Florida? Or is it Miami? If you ask to speak to a person in charge, anyone in the on Baltimore the Council. Yes, anyone. <laughs> well, if I'm asking to speak to anyone in the Baltimore City Council, I'm probably not going to look like them. <laughs> Number 15. This is the stupidest test. If ever. a traffic cop pulls me over or if the IRS audits my tax return, I can be sure I haven't been singled out because of my race. Listen, this is one of those, <laughs> no one can be sure of any of these things because it's very difficult to prove. Uh, as far as the IRS, the only proof that we do have is that the Obama administration actually used it as a political weapon to target conservatives. What? So pretty sure that if you pulled that lever for the R and you're being audited, Maybe there, there, there's there's reasonable doubt there. All right, number yep. sixteen. I can easily buy posters, postcards, picture books, greeting cards, dolls, toys, and children's magazines featuring people of my race. First off, buy spelled B Y. <laughs> I hope you don't speak for your entire race, <laughs> Miss Peggy McIntosh, because going by the last name. I'm guessing if I ask for the person in charge, <laughs> right? It's probably not, we probably have a different makeup shade, but it's close. It's, it's close, close, Peggy. It's, it's very close.
And then greeting cards, dolls, toys, children's magazines featuring people of my race. Yes, yes. I'm pretty sure that yeah. anyone in this country can find picture books, greeting cards, or dolls of people of their race. As a matter of fact, I know you can. Uh, number 17, I can choose blemish cover or bandages in flesh color and have them more or less match my skin. Okay, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel here I'm when we're done. dealing with white privilege. <laughs> I mean. Flesh colored, a couple of things. First of all, it depends on where you are. It depends yeah. on where you are. If you're in a place that is a majority white, meaning that 70 something or 80 something percent of the population are going to have a specific colored skin tone, they might call it flesh colored. But by the way, here, if you're, if you're in Mozambique, it probably be something different, but I don't necessarily, I don't know that in a lot of these countries they have bandages because that's something that's brought to you by the modern world. Again, brought to you by good people, <laughs> not necessarily any specific person of an individual race, we created bandages, whereas in these other countries, perhaps like Zambia or Mozambique, they're still wrapping wounds with used, filthy rags like us from the Revolutionary War. So we're, 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 we're giving you our band, you're welcome for bandages. Unfortunately, when we created bandages, we didn't have the foresight to realize that at this point, I think we were probably still trying to end slavery in some capacity, or the Civil Rights Act. We didn't think, hey, maybe 85 years or 200 years, I don't know when bandages were invented, I don't have a source of that. Down the line, someone's gonna bitch about this being a violation of their civil rights because I wrote down the name Flesh, and then at that point we'll call it Black, but it'll be too late. So damn it, I didn't, I can't believe that that eluded me. You're welcome for bandages, and we couldn't retroactively go back and not call it Flesh Colored. So we'll give you that one. We're sorry, but it's not quite the same as having to ride at the back of the bus. 18. Yes. I can do well in a challenging situation without being called a credit to my race. But this whole thing, but number four, <laughs> so when I'm told about international heritage association, I'm shown that the people of my color made it what it is. As Oakby, you want to be notified that it's a credit to your race. <laughs> That's a trick question. And now when someone does this, it's like, hey, hey, Rosa Parks did some good stuff. She's a credit to her. Don't Racist. say it. Don't Racist. say it. <laughs> Did the same person to write all these questions? Number 18 you know? is entirely a violation of number four. <laughs> this is why the left can't keep it straight. Out in public, the oppression Olympics, the very same person who spelt by B-U-Y, B-Y, wrote this and contradicted her own question. It's only a 20. It's not like it's a it's final a exam lot, yeah. that requires a number two pencil with a scantron. This is easy stuff. It's not even, it's not it's just a check mark. It's not even multiple choice. <laughs> number 19, I can walk into a classroom and no, I will not be the only member of my race. I, it, I mean... It depends on which classroom you're walking into. Is it the film where Hillary Swank goes to the wrong area of town to help the kids, the Freedom I Riders? That. I hate that film. Or is it the Karate Kid School where everyone looks yeah. like Hitler Youth? You it go. depends where you go to school. <laughs> Take the last question, all right. I can enroll in a class at college and be sure that the majority of my professors will be of my race. Couple of things here. I'm so glad this was the last question. First off, this is impossible. Okay, if this is meant to just talk about marginalized, about it cannot be, it says majority, not plurality. Okay, so you can't have a majority black, you can't have a majority Latino, one of them. So you're gonna have to issue out another questionnaire That's talking true. about yeah. either black privilege or, or brown privilege, you're wow. gonna have to have another segregated only, you know, only insert That's... race here space. This, this, this cannot work. Someone's getting cannibalized. Someone's getting yeah. an apple in their mouth and roasted over a fire because you demanded a majority, not even a plurality, you didn't word this properly. Secondly, ensure Ensure that the majority of my, and be sure, sure, that the majority of my professors will be of my race. Okay, well, let's go back here. There you go, number 10. I can take a job and enroll in college with affirmative action without my coworkers or peers assuming that I got it because of my race. Well, why would they think that? Maybe because number 20 asks that you can be sure that the majority, not plurality, of your professors are people of your race. So how, do you, how are you sure? How can you be certain that an amount of black people or brown people are professors? You cannot be certain of anything regarding demographics in a, in a meritocracy. It'll be different every single graduating year. So now in number 20 you're saying, I can be sure that a majority of my teachers will be black. And by the way, when a majority of them are black, you cannot assume that it's because we created a policy so that you could be sure they were a majority black. You create a racism of soft expectations and there is no way first off this questionnaire could possibly create any consistency it is guaranteed to create more racism and you have no idea no self-awareness as to the fact that all of your secondary questions all of your questions in the second half of this test completely contradict your first questions. And this is why people don't respect you. Also, it's spelled by B-U-Y. Hey, did you like this video? Of course you did. 
unless there's something wrong with you. In which case, you can comment below. What's your problem with this video? We want to hear from you, and we promise you 100%, I give you, my word is my bond, will answer every single negative comment. Uh, for those who are normal, you can leave a thumbs up and subscribe.